Welcome back, Internet people. My name is Ryan. We're playing Portal 2 for the PC. Ooh. Something exciting is happening on the screen there. We're gonna shoot some cubes! Ah, oh, thank you. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Well... I'm... Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! Okay. Um... I got me a cube! Woo! Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. That is interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> There's so much physics going on right now. Oh my goodness. The only thing that could make the physics in this any better would be uh, if I placed a water block in the middle of the air and it just sort of existed like that. Oh my god, I think this is Donkey Kong. Did I win? Oh, that's neat. You can zoom in now. Well, where do I get a cube from? Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Wait, no, I wanted to land on the button. Yes, okay. Wonderful. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. <laughs> I laugh at all of your jokes, but inside I'm you crying. Know people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Laser. It is. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Oh. Go ahead and grab another one. Okay, so. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. You are a terrible, terrible person. Okay, I see.
Oh, no, I'm retarded. Don't mind me! Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold. Okay. Maybe I should uh, place that one in advance. Woo! There we go. No, you get back on there! Oh, look! You have gone from being a companion cube to a testicle cube! Isn't that wonderful? Hooray! Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Oh. Well then, that was not obvious at all. I got me a cube! Oh. I think that one was about to say, I love you. And they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. Oh. oh, looks like I am being introduced this to... This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. I, l I love watching this oh, stuff happen. The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. <laughs> Wait, so can this pass through the grill? No. However, there is this very convenient hole. That I can do this. And this. And this. And finally... This. There we go. Chapter 3. Hmm. What are they doing to this wall? Why can't I stop watching? Ooh. Okay, so something is happening. Well, I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? No, there. no, oh! Try it now. What happened, right? I was just lying there? You thought I was done? Hmm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your... generousness. I'll add a few zeros <laughs> to the maximum weight. <laughs> you look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. <laughs> I'll just lower the ceiling. No!
This does help, but but no, where's uh what's his face? Oh goodness. Okay, so what do we got? I need a cube from somewhere. I need a cube from there. And in order to get that cube, I must fling myself by jumping down this way. Yes? No? No. Could it be like this? Will this work? Haha! -ha. Cube, please! Cube! Oh, of course. Button. Cube gets. Okay, so now I have a cube. And I must use it to. What was that noise? Nah, I don't care. To do like this? Yes. Okay, so now I just need to get up there somehow. Wait, oh, okay. Okay, no, I understand. We are all good, internet people. All good. I figured this thing I figured this thing out. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. <laughs> That's almost as good as one of the hair jokes on Glee. Excellent. There's a hole in the sky through which things can fly. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. <laughs> oh, well, let's look forward to that in the uh, next episode, Internet People. Thanks for watching.